<laughs> and above all else, have fun. Enjoy the process. Don't make it labor intensive. Have fun with it. Explore. Look at all avenues. Don't ham yourself into one thing. Do lots of things. And then if you find one that works, then utilize it to the fullest, but never close yourself off. Look at all avenues. Work with as many people as you can find that want to work with you. Even if you disagree. It's okay. It really is. <laughs> Choking on that one, I have to start doing that. <laughs> Choking on my own words, I better pay attention. <laughs> better pay strict attention. <laughs> Listen and cooperate. That's so true. That's so true. What would you say? Is are good methods to develop psychic senses and abilities. Trust is number one. Trust. Don't just write it off as a daydream or a fantasy. Pay attention to your dream state. Your guides, we're not as limited when we're sleeping, so guides can really get a hold of us in the dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. Start a dream log. Um, okay, everybody's going to hate this one. But get rid of all your ringtones. Put one ringtone on the phone. And don't look at caller ID. And see if you can feel who's on the other end of that line. That's really one of the best ways to start tapping into universal communication. Is, you know, just put one ringtone. Don't just, you hear the phone, just touch it. Feel who's calling you before you look. Doesn't mean you are wrong if it's not that person. Pay attention, make note, and see when that person calls you. And that's how far in the future you were seeing. Thank you. Yes. Yes. It's never, it's ne there's never really a wrong answer. It's just you were seen seven hours into the future, maybe two weeks into the future, whatever. You were seen into the future. 42 years later. 42 Wait, years so. later, the guy finally called. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, so, and that's okay. Sometimes it can be 42 <laughs> years into the future. And you needed to know that 42 years ago, right? Just, well, just because you put the feelers out. Yeah. Yeah, but let's not limit. You, you put the feelers out. So, so don't jump immediately to wrong decisions. Don't think you're just wrong automatically. Find a tool that works for you. Tarot cards are great. They work great for me. Playing cards work. You know, anything you can scry with anything. Find your tool. You can make up your own method of scrying. Cloud gazing. That's a great way to learn to scry. I was doing that the other day, actually. Yeah, yeah. Script, dude, that's, a, that's a form of scrying. That's what they... Scrying. Crystal ball. That's that. Crystal ball. And, and the, the cloud gazing is exactly the same as that, or a blackened bowl of water. Mm. Exact same thing. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Start exercising those things. Oh, and some people do automatic writing, so pick up a pen, see what comes out. See if you're inspired to write anything, or if it actually feels like somebody else has started writing for you. Mm. But don't let that freak you out too much. <laughs> it might freak you out if all of a sudden the pen's moving and it's not your hand. <laughs> I mean, it's in your hand, but it's not your hand. It's not your hand writing. That's just scribing. That's, that's automatic writing is what we call that. I remember you telling me about looking in the mirror and, and channeling. Oh, yeah. And I said channeling that to my friend, actually. He said, oh, my God, I've never told anyone about that. See, that's right. That, that, was, the, that was actually how I recognized I, I could channel, was in the mirror, because I would... It's really crazy. It's Alice in Wonderland, but you kind of pop in the mirror, and you turn around, and you look at yourself, looking at yourself in the mirror. And then you realize that there is more there, and you start, yes. Yeah, so play in the mirrors. Play in mirrors all day long. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Just don't get lost in the mirror. That was another thing that, that my guides really, sh they showed me the brambles around to not get lost and to stay very focused. I had to line up colors. And I, later in life, I recognized those were just my chakras and I was keeping myself lined up and I got my silver cord taken care of so that I didn't get lost when I went traveling. Yeah. It's very important that you don't get lost. Cool. Yes. So yes, meditation, 
Chakra work. Those are all good things to open up psychically. Cool. Karate is even good because they do teach you how to meditate. So, and then that keeps you physically fit as well as spiritually fit. Yeah. If you're at, if you found a good um, sifu or sensei. Cool. What do you do personally to? You know, well, okay, I, I'm so old and I've done it for so long. Um, anymore, I just basically I walk into my building and I'm I'm here. But I do meditate every morning. I, I do. I clear all of me out of myself before I come to work. All, Teresa stays at home, basically, and then, you know, I come in and, and work. And make way for whatever needs the client needs. Get out of your own way. Don't doubt and get out of your own way. That's, that's really the best. That's great advice. Yes. And don't take people at their word all the time. People... You can see things and they say, no, give them permission to say no and say, oh, I was mistaken. But don't try to tell them that you are right and that is psychic and you are seen. And just say, oh, I, I was mistaken. I'm sorry. Maybe we can try this another day. Mm. Don't attack the person who wants help but maybe is afraid of the help. Totally. Yeah. And I've noticed, too, like even that little, like, oh, I must have been mistaken, it still sticks with them. Oh, it definitely sticks with him, and the fact that you you took responsibility and said, oh, well, sure, I can be wrong, I'm human, that gives you a very human element, and it's not as frightening. Mm -hmm. They can come, and they can talk to you because you are human, and you can't admit that you can be mistaken. Because mm -hmm. we all can be mistaken. But don't, don't put it in wrong. It was just mistaken. We can correct all errors. It's okay. <laughs> So you've done past life regressions, I mean... I'll yes, I was trained in past life regressions in Denver, Colorado with my friend Sandy and, and it was Bob Blonde who actually taught us how to regress. But I'm not licensed to do regressions, but that's... You do it excellently. <laughs> yes, and that's I do it with very close friends. Yeah, yeah and excellent. <laughs> yes, amazing. very close friends. <laughs> yes. And that's how I learned. I learned with very close friends. Bob Blonde and Sandy were very... I worked for Bob in his metaphysical store, Journey Books. Cool. And Sandy was a co-worker. And yes, we learned friends. We did it as a friend thing. <laughs> very cool. What's your favorite... So oh, is that the... That's the door. I have to go to work. Um, we will continue <laughs> this at another time. Another time. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much, Teresa. You're so welcome. Anytime. And right? namaste. Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time. Until next time. <laughs> Let me go that